What's going on, YouTube, man? Back at it again, man. You already know the vibes. If you ain't did it yet, what you waiting on? It's time to subscribe to the channel, bro. You already know how we coming over here. We keeping shit 100, keeping shit real. Don't care if you famous, don't care who you is, man. We just keeping shit hot. We motivating people. We making people feel better about themselves. That's just what we do over here. That's just how we move. It is what it is. Let's, let's write this light up. All right, hold on guys. But yeah, today I wanna talk about, <laughs> I wanna talk about the young boys out here, these young kids out here, these young fellas, the young thugs, the young street niggas, whatever y'all wanna call them. Let's talk about it. You know, when you a young kid, when you young and you out here in these streets, I say when you about the age of, from let's say 14 to 19, pr pretty much. Uh, from the ages of 14 to 19, You pretty much don't give up. Like, let's just keep it real. You don't really think about consequences. You don't think about going to jail. You don't think about, you know, the time that you're going to lose from your family, the money you're going to lose out your pocket. You don't really think about that type of stuff. So, uh, you know, you out here living reckless. You don't really care. Like, when they say you get wiser as you get older, that is just so true. Because it's like the older you get, the more you start to think about the situations that you're in. Because when I was young, man, I didn't think about consequences. I'm out here living crazy, doing crazy shit. Like we just, just having fun as kids, like just living life. Like life is something that you have to experience and you have to go through certain experiences to understand certain things. And that's pretty much what it, that's pretty much what it was for me. Um, When you a kid, you don't, you know, you think you, you know, you play games like, excuse my language, but we call it nigga knocking. You know, you go knock on, y'all might call it something else, but we call it nigga knocking. We go knock on somebody's door and just take off running or in Halloween, we used to just go ride around, the, you know, the city and find people outside and throw eggs at them and, you know, then it got to... You know, um, oh, these dudes want to play with us type thing. Let's go fight them. Let's go. Well, then it got the, you know, after the fighting went away, then the shooting started to come. I mean, but as I got older, you started to realize the stuff you can use. I mean, lose. As you get older, you realize you, you know, you start having kids and you start, you know, realizing that. All right, life ain't about my homies no more. You know, I got a, I, I got kids. You know, you, as you get older, you get a girl that you start to care about or a man that you start to care about and you start to slow down on your young kid activity. And that's what life is about. It's about experiencing and growing up. That's why a lot of the stuff that these young kids do, I'm not really surprised. I'm not really... I don't really knock them for it because it's like we all did this shit when we was kids well not everybody maybe but a lot of the black kids who grew up in these project neighborhoods and stuff like that that's you know everybody really kind of came up the same we was you know we all had to pick a we all had to pick a path you know what i'm saying and uh even though when I was younger, it was a little different than these kids who young now. 
when I was a little younger, it was, you know, I grew up in the era where we didn't have internet. And I mean, I was a real young, I was, I was in, I was in the ninth grade, I think. I was in the ninth grade when Facebook came out. So like before then, I was kind of a kid, but we we didn't have we didn't have Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all this stuff. And I feel like Facegram and it's Facegram and Facegrams, Facebook and Instagram used to I feel like plays a big part in a lot of the stuff that's happened over the years because it's given locations, it's it's let people respond, is 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 letting people know for sure that you don't like them for sure that we're beefing like back then you could you had to pick and choose or you had to hear you had to hear something in order to know something you know you couldn't just get on the internet and just say what you had to say and uh i feel like that's why so many rappers now uh because back then it was just as many rappers it just we couldn't get on it was harder to get on it was harder to get noticed but now it's so much talent it's always been so much talent but now everybody gets to project their talent on social media and and, and get saw i mean and get seen and get found and that's just my theory but basically what i'm saying is when you were you know we got a kind of talk to these kids and guide these kids in the right way man because at the end of the day they all just living their life they all just having fun and you know some kids don't really understand the consequences that they got coming to them but with a little guidance and with a little push man we can do this shit I was watching the Kanye interview, part two. And I just, man, I'm, I, I like this man. I like this man more and more. Every interview, like, it's like, he talking, he, he, he really talking some stuff, man. Like, Ye is really talking. Yeah, he be saying some crazy, but the overall message, the overall goal, he, he talking, man. And it was some things that I don't agree with, but it was some things that I really did agree with. And I love it when somebody can get on the uh, pl these platforms and speak their mind. I love it when a man can make millions and billions of dollars and still want to get out here and help people who need help. Like, that's just what it is and i've always said you know if i had money man i would be that type of person and i okay and i know i would be that type of person because I, how i am now already like i already help people out and always you know saying yeah and stuff and quick story real quick before i get up out of here I, just the other day i um i went to the store and some guy walked up to me and was like, hey, man, if I cash up you $20, can you get it out of the ATM for me? You know, and me, how I think, I think, I think crazy. I, 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 I be on point with everything. I'm always fig trying to figure something out. And it's like, first thing that caught, came in my head was, all right, he might be a scammer. He might be trying to get your information or something like that. And it just so happened that, you know, I had the money on me, man. So I, I ended up giving him $20 and just told him to keep the money. Like, I ain't want it. You ain't got to send me nothing. But that's just the type of person I am. Like, if I got it, everybody in the world just got it. If I feel like I'm obligated to help you, I'm going to help you. If I, get a, if I get a feeling brought over me or something that I should help this person, I'm going to help the person. I don't care if you're a dude, if you're a girl, if you're ugly, if you cute if you fat skinny it don't matter like i'm gonna help you if i can help you because that's just me but everybody ain't like that you know what i'm saying you can't knock it every nobody is obligated to do nothing for you so you can't knock it man but yeah man that's my little sunday talk y'all already know how we rocking over here 
you already know how we rocking over here, man. And to the autumn young boys out there, make sure y'all stay focused, man. Don't let these niggas trick you out the streets, trick you out your position. Stay focused on what you doing and get your money and get up out of there. Whatever you doing, get your money and go home. That's all you got to do, man. Hey, say man, hey man, say man. Like I told you before, you know the vibe. If you ain't did it yet, I don't know what you waiting on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat. I also got my cash app in the mother description if you want to check that out. You know, it's all, but we all good over here. We all good over here. It's, it's, it's hard out there, so I'm the last option. I'm the last option. But you already know the vibes, man. Hit that subscribe button.